Hey there folks, Toby here from Mac Pro Video and today we're going to have a quick look at Drum Lab by Native Instruments. Now Drum Lab was designed with the idea of compositing really nicely sampled acoustic drums with more electronic type sounds. Now the great thing about Drum Lab is that all the samples are phase aligned, they're all perfectly in tune with each other and you can just go ahead and concentrate on uh, being creative. Now you can see I have this kick drum selected here and in the acoustic layer I have this uh, thick kick. Now I can change these samples by using the left and right arrow buttons. Now underneath this I have the electronic layer. And I currently have this swoosh layer loaded in and what I can do is just mix between or blend the uh, electronic layer with the acoustic layer. and I can obviously choose a different electronic sound to blend with this kick. Now you'll find these layers for all the main kit elements like the snare, the hats, the toms, etc. Now each layer has a bunch of different parameters like uh, tuning for each layer. On the acoustic sound, for example, on the kick drum, you can choose between the outside mic or the sub mic, or a little bit of both. You can choose how much you want to put into the overheads and room. And we also have this little trashy mic that we can blend in as well. For the electronic layer, we have a, a high pass filter. Let's just get it onto the electronic layer. So a high pass filter and low pass filter. And we obviously have uh, envelopes uh, for each layer. So each element of Drum Lab comes with its own complement of effects. Now you can get to these by going to the Effects tab. And from left to right we have a, a Transient Master here to start with. Here we can adjust the attack and release shape of our sample. It's a really useful sound shaping tool. Next up we have a, just a general compressor. Then probably uh, the coolest uh, effect here is the saturator. And this allows you to get some really dirty kind of sounds. And we also have a three band EQ here and also a send to the reverb, which you'll find up here. And you'll find uh, a bunch of different reverb types and their respective presets. Now this gives you all the sound shaping tools you'll need right inside of Drum Lab. Now you also get a uh, master effects section here on the master and you'll notice that the uh, compressor is now a uh, bus compressor and this is a really great way to change the overall sonic characteristics of the whole uh, kit. Now don't forget that each kit element also has its own output as well. So depending on how you have your contact mixer set up you can route all these sounds to um, separate outputs and process them further uh, with external effects if you wish. Now we also have a bunch of uh, MIDI files available to us here and you can load one of these by just double clicking it and pressing play uh, from the MIDI file player. And there's plenty to choose from here, literally hundreds of MIDI files. We also have an options page that deals with uh, mapping. We have some uh, various MIDI mappings up here, velocity mappings, and also how you want to control the memory usage of Drum Lab. Now, lastly, up here at the top, we have uh, a bunch of user presets. Uh, and you can choose a main preset type here. Let's choose smooth. And then we have a bunch of different sub presets in this drop down menu. And there's a wide range of uh, different sort of stuff here. Dirty. Plenty to keep you busy there. Now there's a good little tip here. I went to the user folder here and I've just created a blank preset which is basically a zeroed out version of Drum Lab uh, which is a good starting point. And I can just name that here and then uh, click save to save the preset. I've got a couple of other ones that I've made here. And 
And you can hear Drum Lab is really good for sort of those crunchy kind of breakbeat sounds. Just generally really good fun uh, to build kits with. Now, as well as the main Drum Lab page, you also have loads of single instruments, and you'll find these in the uh, browser. You click on Single Instruments Kit. Uh, we have loads of different presets for different snares that are good starting points. So I can just drag one onto here. And you can see you get a more simplified interface, uh, but all of the basic parameters are still there. And these might be good if you're just looking for a single drum sound uh, to add to uh, some pre-existing programming or indeed for compositing onto um, other drums. So let's have a quick look at what Drum Lab's like on this uh, MIDI that I pulled off of these drums. So nice and crusty there. So there's Drum Lab, a great tool for making uh, composite sounding drum kits. Hope you check it out. That's all for now. My name's Toby. I'll see you later.